It was the night before Christmas, and the interweb was barren. Not a creature was working, except for poor Aaron. Ah, it's time for Xmas, my favorite time of year. Now to send out invites to all my 3DMM friends. Uh, they should be here by now. Oh my gosh, it's them! <laughs> Welcome, my fru- Hello, Aaron Haynes. It's me. Hi. So, Aaron Haynes, it is my understanding that you have Christmas. Well, here, you have some punch and I'll go get the presents. These punch, the trademark on the collective boxer briefs of decency. No wonder they call you Haynes. Let's see, where's your present? Uh, Tom Breed. Tom Breed. Tom Breed. Tom Breed. Ah, here we go. Andres de la Hose. So, did you get anything for me? No. Well, then I'm taking my present back. No, I do not think so. Yes, Andres. That is it. Tonight, you'll be visited by three noobs. Noob of three demon past. Present. I wonder what he meant by that. Oh wow, this is really shitty. Names. What? Who said that? It is me, the goat, I mean ghost of Noob's Pad. Oh my gosh, who are you? It's me, Space Ghost. I mean, good. Ooh. Oh my gosh! <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Where? To Dragon Films! <laughs> and through the time portal, to the past did they go. To a time of innocence, and the sequel to Action Joe. Haunted by the slowness, though unknowing of his fault, Aaron will yet learn the truth through all things made default.
Hey, come join the party, man. Not now. I have to finish this. Oh, you suck. Come on, Cal. Leave Aaron alone. You sicker. Man, fart you. I don't take orders from Tom. <gasps> Bone, now where's Julie? I want to see if she can count past one hand. I think she went with Tuna somewhere. Hey, Danny Swaz. Have you seen Julie? Sorry, Jeremy Dick. Can't say I have. That could have been you with Julie, but you were working. Ooh, do you know how many 3D members beat me to that? I'm happy I got that movie done. It was the most popular release that year. You were up against Bob the Ninja and Jeff G. But you go ahead and wear that pin with pride. We have seen enough. Let's go. No, wait. I want to see this. No, we have to go now. But why? <laughs> Woo! Party! I'm the goat! Uh, huh? Oh. oh, what a terrible dream. Uh, what? Uh, oh! Andres must have left me a gift after all! I'm the noob of Christmas present! <laughs> Get it? Ask you to the present! And I'm here to take you to the present! Uh, uh, uh. We're here! Let's go! Uh, uh, uh. This is Tom Breed's house. What? Oh! Oh! He said he lived in Arizona, that schmuck. Selflessly aided by the noob with the hat, Aaron moved but twelve feet. But deeper truths shall be revealed as they approach the home of Tom Breed. Oh! Yes, as you can see, I've taken the set straight from my five-star smash hit, the 3DMM Game Show. Yes, I went down to every last detail. <laughs> yes, now, if you'll be excusing me, I must be off to find Taco. Oh, Taco! <laughs> so this is why no one came to my party? They're all here? I'm afraid so. But, but I sent invitations to all these people. And her, I even created him. And that's, oh dear, that's little Tom Bound. He's got a terrible disease. The doctor says he won't last long, sadly. Yes, nobody cares. But Evan, do you know why I brought you here? They did get the invitations, right? I mean, Andre showed up, right? That's because Tom Breed gave him the wrong address. Nobody wants the Grinch at a roast beast dinner. I don't understand. Why wouldn't anyone want to see me? It's because you smell like cigarettes and cheap vodka, Evan. This is the 2006 3DM Emmys Award for Best Scene all over again. Hmm, still, look over here. Even your friends are trying not to hurt your feelings by visiting your wreck of a party. Evan, do you know why I brought you here? No, not exactly. It's to hurt your feelings. Ugh, another assassin. I gotta go. Goodbye. Excuse me, John Steele. I see that you're enjoying my finest glass of Chardonnay. <laughs> but uh, I was wondering if you've seen Taco around. I have something to give him. I just want to see if he can count the past one hand. And Returning home as lonesome as ever, poor Aaron Haynes felt not any better. No one was coming, he finally figured out. I guess it's because I fix people's errors, he went on to shout. Cured of all ail and evil, Aaron learned the right, but still, even worse horrors would await Aaron through this night. Gasp! Why is there a cube on your head? It's a mask! Can't you see that, you idiot? Mm. I am the noob of 3DMM future! Come on now, let's go. No! 
No, all that happens when I go with you guys is I get put down. I'm not going anywhere with you. Who are you anyway? Oh my god, it's you! Yes, it is I, Andrew James Thomas, Jr. And since you won't come with me on Christmas Day, I'll have to kill you. Uh, w wait a minute. Hey! Hey you! What day is it? Why today is Christmas Day! <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, I gotta finish Larion too. Uh. No, not this year. Merry Christmas to everyone! And go bless us, everyone. <coughs> and so our tale ends. And though all seems done for naught, this was mostly a cautionary tale. Don't complain about the DVDs you bought. And me Christmas Eve.